Gentlemen, um, why do you think Coach Knight picked now to come back after after 20 years of uh, sometimes contentious feelings? You know, I, I don't, I mean, I'd like to not focus on the whys, but he's here. Um, I think, you know, a lot has transpired over the last couple of years. Uh, he's moved back here. Um, He's happy back here, and I just think at this point in his life, it was it was time to not only let the fans see him and uh, respond to him, but as we saw today, he loves the fans, and he responded to them. So it's not I, I don't want to get into why now it it was one of the greatest and emotional things for me personally. Me too. Um, that um, I don't know if we'll see something like this again uh, in, in college basketball that um, you know, he came back this is where he belongs he moved back here I told him when I called him I said you know you're back here for a reason because this is where you belong and uh, I said you need to come back with us you know we we love coming back and seeing each other in these reunions uh, this is my second or third one back, and I, I just told him it, it doesn't mean anything to us anymore uh, if, if you're not a part of it, because we came here because of him. It wasn't because of the weather. Um, and as I told Coach, as much as the academics was a big part, it wasn't because of the academics. We came here to play for Coach. And uh, this was a great day for me, emotional, this is one of the best highs I've had uh, in a long time. Go ahead, Pat. Uh, when did things uh, develop to the point where you were certain Coach Knight was going? Well, you're never certain with Coach Knight. <laughs> you know that. Now, they, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I mean, it just was a, a thought when the 80 team, when we got emails about coming back, uh, you know, Woody and, and all of us that got him responded, um, you know, we touched him uh, about coming back with us and uh, uh, it all kind of just came together. It wasn't really one point where we thought this is actually going to happen, um, but uh, we're just glad it did. Uh, Coach Whitman, you, you had a phone call with him uh, earlier this winter. And if you could just kind of expound on kind of what you can say publicly about the conversation, just kind of what was your message to him about why you really wanted him back and, and sort of like how you went about, you know, talking to him about, about really making it happen? Well, for me personally, Mike, Mike can answer it. Um, for me personally, I mean, he, he's a big part of <coughs> who I am today and what I've been able to accomplish in, in my life. Uh, in basketball as well as non-basketball and uh, you know it was just a, a situation when he moved back here I knew he was in a good place he was very happy uh, being back here in Bloomington living and uh, you know I, I just told him there's a reason why you're happy because this is where you belong it's where you belong and we've all gone through it I've been fired four times um, it's not fun, uh, but this state still loves this guy, and as we saw today, this guy still loves this, these fans. That was the reason why he came back, though. You know, I I visit coach in Montana and Texas. Um, you know, this is home. You know, what I mean, he made all his marks right here at Indiana University. So, I mean, for him to come back. Um, I've spent the last month back here in Bloomington with him and had dinner a few times with him. And, but we were just happy as hell knowing that he was going to come today. I mean, we didn't put a lot of work into it. This is something that he decided he wanted to do. And uh, on short notice, we got a hold of everybody and that we could get a hold of. And, and he showed up. And it's, just a great event today. Beautiful. 
I believe, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, you guys, did you watch the game with them on television in the first half in Cook Hall, and what was that like? We watched some of it. Uh, you know, we, we mainly were socializing and taking pictures and kind of catching up a little bit with players that we had <coughs> seen over the years, and, and mainly just spending time with Coach. I mean, that was, that's what this was all about today, was to spend time with Coach. I know the Big Ten, 80 team was being honored, but it was all about Coach Knight today, as far as I'm concerned. I, I don't know. I mean, it, it might have happened, but for us players to see guys from 1970 to 2000 all in the same building together that played for this man um, is something I'll never forget. I'll go to my grave with this memory of today, and uh, it's just such a great day for all of us. Coach, Karen, my son Pat, players, um, I think we saw that today, the love uh, that went both ways is, is my mind. He, he couldn't have been more happy seeing these people here today. I mean, he was, he was great, uh, and that's touching. What do the fans need to know about the 1980 team? Maybe younger fans that don't know as much about it, and is it one of the more underappreciated teams of Coach Knight? I don't know if it was unappreciated. Oh, well, I'll, yeah. I'll speak on that first, because yeah. the 1980 team was better than the 81 team that won the national championship, without a question. Without a question. And because of injuries and, and him going down with back surgery, um, we weren't able to be the team that I think we could have been. Well, all you had to do was come back. Well, I couldn't come back. You so, know, yeah, um, I did. But, <laughs> but that year, I mean, you think about it, we played, you know, that was the boycott 80 Olympics. Yeah. And we opened up right here on this floor against the Russian that was supposedly the best team in the world. And I, believe, I don't remember the score you guys can, can figure that score out, but it was by 20 or something. And it was an unbelievable team. And then we just never, never able, were to be able to stay healthy enough to do what we did in 81. Uh, but I, I think the 80 team is, was a much more talented and, and cohesive group than even the 81 team. All right, anything else? Go ahead, John. You guys talked about how um, how much this meant to him and how he responded when he was out there. I think there was one moment he was kind of pumping his fist and screaming a few words. I mean, what types of things was was he saying? Defense. Defense. He was screaming defense. That's about the only word we can say. Right? No. <laughs> All right. Last question. Now that he's been here once, do you think he'll come back again? That's that's up to him. Hope so. Yeah, I, I, I hey, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, you know, I, I was part of. Uh, he talked to the team prior to the game. I don't know if Archie or yeah, or, 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 or spoke on it. Yeah. Um, and to me, I was standing there, and he was Coach Knight. He was like he hasn't left that locker room. The, the, the words that he gave to those players uh, before they went out on the floor, it was, it was fabulous. All right, guys, thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.